Well, here we have a 9 gram strength stretched between two supports 600 millimeters apart. What tension in the string is needed to achieve a wave speed of 200 meters per second? That's per second, not meters, seconds. Well, as above, we need to know that the velocity is equal to the square root of the force divided by the mass per unit length. And as above, we need to make sure that we are working in SI units. Velocity 200 meters per second is an SI unit. 600 millimeters is not an SI unit, and 9 grams is not an SI unit. So we need to do our unit conversions. So 9.0 grams we need to know that a kilogram divided by 1,000 is equal to a gram. Therefore, 9 grams is equal to 9.0 divided by 1,000 kilograms by algebraic substitution, which is equal to 9.0 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms. Similarly, uh, 600 millimeters, a meter divided by 1,000 is equal to a millimeter, and therefore by algebraic substitution, 600 millimeters is equal to 600 times 1 meter divided by 1,000, which is equal to 0.60 zero meters. Then we need to cross multiply our equation. So if we square both sides we have v squared is equal to f divided by m divided by l. Multiply both sides by m divided by l. And we have an equation for the force. So the force or tension that we require is V squared, which is 200 squared meters squared per second squared times the mass of 9.0 times 10 to the minus 3 kilograms divided by the length. 0 0.600 meters. And let's check the units. We're going to end up with meters cancelling with meters squared to give meters. So we're going to have me kilogram meters per second squared, which is indeed equal to a newton. And if we substitute in the numbers, then we'll find that the answer we get is 600 newtons. And strictly as the 